going to paint the view out of my back door here, which is perfect at the moment. This composition here, I think, with the red tree, the pine tree down to here, looking through this area and this area. Nice and easy to set up here. I can just sit by my kitchen. Well, the weather was sweltering yesterday when I did that big one. Today, a little bit different. It's been raining all morning, which is fantastic because my garden needed it. And uh, I've put a few more paints out. I need to go in the next few days. I'm sure and get some more. Anyway, let's make a start on this. We've got a slightly cloudier day today. These creams a bit here. Straight away I'm going to put on some quite nice sort of ivory colour that I was I mentioned in the other video I was left by another artist whose wife wanted to sell everything up so I went and bought much of the stuff. I'll whack that on here just to give myself a foundation. And I'll make a grey blue, make a little bit of cobalt blue and uh, some of the same light colour and just add a, a wee touch of burnt sienna to that. That's sort of a, a grey brown, this lovely sort of grey brown cloud, too dark that. Way, sort of, way too dark, oh, it's lighter than that. There we are. Nice browns, grey browns going on behind here today, which will show these flowers out quite nicely. And we can adjust these greys so easily by just uh, adding more blue or more brown. A little bit more blue, put a little bit of turquoise into it now just to give us that little blue or grey there. It comes down through here. Well, finally, just not finally, but finally just blend it through the blue up into the sky up here. A touch of it works into there. And up through here, a little bit of blue I think. Mm. Now I want to make a really lighter colour. Quite a cream, but almost white and lemon yellow. And you can just take it down a little bit with that previous colour. So white, wee touch of cadmium yellow. I went out of lemon actually, so I've got stuffed on that. Just take it back with a bit of that other colour. So I'll just bring up some of these lighter clouds. See, it's slightly creamer. Coming into that. And on this tree here, round tree. You might think, because it's one of the darkest things in the picture, that it's going to um, be very, very dark on the painting. Um, but it actually, as it's further back, we want some of these other things around here to be warmer and darker. So I want a mixture there of, I think I'm going to use Prussian blue and a wee bit of yellow ochre. I'll make that a bit darker still. A wee touch of yellow ochre and I'm going to make it a little bit warmer. Make a bit of burnt umber into that. With my Prussian blue. This isn't a very dark Prussian blue, this is with a darker one really. So it's a bit warmer by, by making the Prussian blue and the burnt sienna. And we'll have quite a nice dark Put some warmth coming up here amongst that before I make it blue with the uh, ultramarine with the uh, Prussian blue lights so we can out again because it's changing constantly. Just a bit cooler now, we'll take a little bit of purple into it. more purple tint to the depth of the tree there. There's a bit more Prussian blue as well. Let's see if I can use a base green for this edge here. Yeah. Just put a very light colour on there at first. Just need to get rid of this white canvas, I keep saying that I know, but you have to lose the white canvas for it to see the colour, so unless you actually put a um, 
a colour ground on. I need to get this down with this one more coat of that. What colour should we do that? It wants to be a fairly warm. Well, it seems fairly dead colours at the moment because I'm going to work lighter colours over them, that's why. Sun shining across this face so is not making it easy for me to show you. What sort of these rooms are? They come right through to here as well. Show you what these apple branches coming down. Done those dark snap ups, I just need to go back into the more little bits here and there. You see, I've taken that log out just over here, I don't want that in. Um, and then we come 
to the top of the tree here. So our view is sort of somewhere here, like that. And out of that we've got that. Thank you.